Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the Light Meets in Corona Render. Light Meets is one of the best tools we have as an artist. Using this option, we can turn the lights on or off and change the intensity or colors of the light. This is so powerful that we can even turn a daytime render into a night render directly from the frame buffer without re-rendering the image. For this example, we're going to use a scene with a corona sun and sky, a corona light under the cabinet, and some lights in the ceiling. I'm also going to add a sphere light floating in the middle of the room so you can see better the effect of light meat. We have a few ways to create the corona light meat. We can click F10 on our keyboard to open the render setup and in the scene tab, click the setup light meets button. Or we can also press the light meets button in the corona toolbar. This will open a new window with three options to set up the light meets layers. We can also see the number of layers we're going to create and the memory required on the right side of the panel. At the bottom of the window, we can select if we want to add the hidden light, but doing this can increase the memory required. And we can also select if we want to include the noising for these layers, which I recommend to always keep it on. We're going to select the individual lights option and click the generate button. This is going to create one light select render element for each of the lights and also an interactive light meets render element. If we start an interactive rendering, we can see in the light meets tab all these light elements we created. The individual lights option is good when we have only a few lights, but for this example, it's not a good option. We're going to stop the interactive rendering and set up a new light meet, but this time we're going to select group light. We can see in the render elements that all the previous ones have been replaced for the group light. And if we select, for example, the ceiling light, we can see all the lights that are part of that group. If we start the interactive rendering again, we can see that all the previous layers have been replaced for the group light. This can be really helpful if we want to update the lights at once. And the last option we have for the light meet setup is the instance light. We can also see that the render elements have been replaced and the lights in the light meet panel now are based on the instance light. Now that we know how to set up or light meet, we can start customizing the light. We can turn the lights on or off by pressing the checkbox next to the name. For example, we can turn off the sun and leave only the environment to have a more overcast scene. We can then reduce the intensity of the environment with the spinner to create a darker scene. And to finalize, we can change the color to a darker blue to give us that late in the day look. We can then do the same for other lights. For this, I recommend working with one light at a time and starting by modifying the intensity. If the value you're using is less than 0.1 or more than 5, I recommend selecting the light and changing the intensity. A quick way to do this is to right click the light directly from the frame buffer and click the select lights in scene option to select the light. We can then change the intensity of the light for a better adjustment. When we are planning to change the color of the light, we need to remember that it works in an additive way. For example, the left light under the cabinet has a warm tone. If we change the color to green, we can see that the result is yellow. But if we select the right light, we can see that the color of the light is white. And if we change the color to green, we're going to get that color. Because of this, it is important to use a white color if we plan to update the light colors using light meets. We also have a few additional options at the bottom of the light meet. Toggle all is going to turn on or off all the lights at the same time. This is especially useful when we are starting to balance our lights using light meet. The toggle all 1.0 button is going to change all the light intensities back to the default one. And the all white is going to change all the colors to white. With these buttons, we can bring the image back to the original render. The scene button is going to bake all the changes we do in the light meets to the scene light. For example, this light has an intensity of 100 and a white color. If we use light meets to change the intensity to 
0.5 and the color to orange. By pressing the scene button, we can see that all the changes have been applied to the selected light. And after that, the light meet is going to be reset to the default value. Something important to notice is how the light multiplier works. For example, if I change the value to 2, we can see that the current value of 50 in the light doubles to 100. It is also possible to save and load different light setups. For example, we can create a daytime render and click the Save button to save these values. We can then modify some of the light intensities and colors, as well as to turn off some of the light and save them, for example, as an evening setup. We can then use the load button to load these settings to any of the cameras in our scene. This option is great if you want to share the lighting setup or if you are testing multiple lightings. As you can see, Lightmeet is one of the most powerful tools we have as an artist when we're working with Corona Render. It allows us to modify or render quickly and to use multiple lights and colors without re-rendering our scene. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.